What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Starfield's potential delay again. This was something that really popped up yesterday, and this goes to the Steam database page, which is a, a pretty uh, useful tool that people have been looking into for several games over the last little while to see, all right, well, when do these games change? And what basically happened here is you can see the picture. It was dated, obviously, for the release date, November 11, 2022. That's in the red, right? It's crossed off and then it's replaced by December 29th 2023 now a few things to note here all right a few things to note that date the November 11th one was always uh, you know after they announced the delay let's say was always going to be eliminated so they were always going to do that you know that cross off and give some sort of new thing right because you're not going to have that in there when it's December January of next year you're not going to have the steam database still say November 11th all right Second thing to point out is December 29th, that is definitely a placeholder date, all right? Games, we've talked about like a thousand times, but one more time, games don't release that late in December. I, I can't think of a single game really my entire life that's released, say, from at least this, like Christmas Eve, let's say December 24th through, you know, January 1st, 2nd, 3rd. There are no games that release during that period. So December 29th is definitely not happening. Now, yeah, it's not December 31st. It's not the common placeholder date that we would normally see, right? The ending of the four quarters, September, December, March, and June. It's not that, but it's still, in my opinion, I would say it indicates, and I think this is what a lot of people are also saying, it indicates most likely that Starfield is an end of the year release. So when it got delayed, and remember Redfall got delayed as well, both games were said to release in the first half of 2023. Redfall, you know, that always kind of made sense, at least for Redfall, right? Because Redfall was supposed to come out like this summer before Starfield was in November. And so, you know, I could see Redfall coming out before June or before the end of June at the latest. But Starfield, you know, could that make it? You know, could Redfall come out in February and then could Starfield come out in May or June? Well, you know, again, these things can change. I think uh, the last time I looked at this for a specific game, it could have been Gotham Knights. Gotham Knights, I think, had a lot of things that were changed, like uh, the red that's crossed off, replaced with something else. I mean, it can change again. The December 29th thing could be moved up potentially, right? In a few months, you could see that go red and then them eliminate that and put it for, you know, November 10th or whatever. Um, I do think the Uncharted one, I think Uncharted, the Legacy of Thieves collection, got the Steam database and it actually was right. I think uh, the day it was supposed to come out for PC. So that one was actually on the nose. But again, this, this one will not be on the nose no matter what. It could just indicate this game is probably... To be honest with you, it's probably a November 2023 thing instead of November 11, 2022. It's probably November of 2023. That's a big, you know, and here's the thing. If it needed a year, that's fine. I mean, give it a year because this game needs to come out in a good condition, right? Bethesda Games, notorious for not doing that. This is their flagship thing. This is Bethesda's big first kind of one, right? Uh, being bought by Microsoft. It's going to be on Game Pass. Millions and millions. I would not be surprised, right? 10, 15 million people easily the first, let's say, month are playing this game. You got to come out swinging. So the game cannot be a buggy mess. If it needed to be delayed a year, just say it. Now, I don't know how you say it, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to give all the answers to Microsoft and Bethesda, but, you know, if, if you were always kind of intending to give it, like, okay, well, this thing is not, if we push it four or five months, it's still not going to be ready. I mean, you could have just said 2023. You didn't have to say first half, right? You didn't have to include those couple words, first half of 2023. You didn't have to do that, and uh, so we'll see, we'll see what happens, but... It does seem like something's going on. I know uh, uh, other things that were kind of pointed out. There seemed to be some sort of package that was maybe related to a season pass or DLC that was also added, and then it was taken away. Um, so, you know, that's not surprising either, right? There, there'll definitely be some sort of content that comes out, you know, afterwards. So we'll see how it all turns out, because it still could definitely come out, you know, first half of the year. I don't know if I'm expecting it. Um, I, at this point, I think I'd be expecting next fall. So if it comes out earlier, then that's probably a, a good surprise for me but let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turned on so you know all these videos go up and i hope to see you all on tomorrow's video